guys is that second unit we got this is the 5x15 uh, this is the one that had antique furniture I can see uh, Denon receiver if it's in the box there's some nice Polk audio speakers that I can see sticking under a tarp there's a tarp in the front so hopefully there's something good underneath the tarp you always got to hope for the best there a lot of old furniture there's some mattresses but there's a lot of mystery boxes this one goes back pretty far I'm excited about this one uh, even the storage lady was pretty excited about this one which by the way this facility they're really nice she's a sweetheart but anyway let's see what we got guys oh we got a lock of units though there we go all right look at what we got here see this is what i could see i could see the antique furniture it's kind of rough but it's still it's some nice old furniture somebody's gonna want that way back in the back or you can see the denon receiver box lots of mystery but this if you can come in just a little bit i can see these up here so i could see polk audio so i know we got some good speakers here and here's the tarp take a step back babe i can't take a step no, back no, no. Oh, this way. Oh, right there <laughs> <laughs> drum roll please what did we get what did we get oh it's more of the speakers oh it's the subwoofer oh the, okay this all right by the way guys i stole this unit now you've seen the little bitty unit that i just got with just a few things that was 110 dollars i picked this unit up same facility same auction 30 bucks so wow that's all i have to say about that um i don't know if you can see in here there's a suit lots of mystery there's a gun rack there is a gun rack yay maybe yay maybe and she said the guy was very upset and really trying to come up with the way to pay for his unit so that's sad yes but at the same time this is what we do so uh i'm gonna pull some of this audio equipment and stuff out and see what we got guys we got a few things pulled out um <laughs> i'm happy so far for my 30 dollars purchase check out the polk audio surround sound system 12 inch powered subwoofer center channel rights lefts rears everything there awesomeness well, let's start going through some of these boxes and see what we have got so far and then we're going to dig farther back this looks like electronics possibly uh -oh. Oh no, it's DVDs. All, yeah, all DVDs. But here, moment of truth. And they are in there. So, okay, his DVDs are in there and they are ready to go. Let's see what else we got down in here. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. What goes in it, there's something that'll go in that. It's probably one of those like things where you like, like that. A knife uh, or something, maybe? I think or, you light those up. The little tip was broke. I heard something fall, so I bet it's in there. So, it's keep an eye open for the tip of his. I'm finding a lot of stuff like this and there's a lot of wood. I do believe the guy did some woodworking. So there were some heavy boxes. Hopefully those were tools. Oh, that's heavy too. What's in there? Oh, it's just, a, it's, oh, it's made of, it's metal. I was like, boy, that's really heavy. Oh, we got Q-tips. That's really light. Hey dad, yes. I see a salt crystal lamp. Is it in it? Oh, is it? Probably. Let's see, what is this? Uh, this is a, oh, that's one of those keypad door locks. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Are they heavy? Are they light? Because it's super those light. Are like 50 bucks. Nope, nothing in there. It's uh, empty. Wait, there's something. Oh, there's like, there's stuff in there. Oh, you know what? How do I always find the paraphernalia? I swear to you, every locker. I can't get away from it. Yeah, this thing seems like it's full of uh, glass pipes and paraphernalia. I cannot get away from that, no matter how hard I try. All right. Screws, some duct tape. Those are the ends to the boxes there. Looks like all toiletries. There's the very tip of his horn. Let's put that away. Okay, so that's really cool. Let's see. Okay, so let's get that box out of the way. Box number one. Like I said, this locker was 30 bucks, so I am happy. And uh, we'll be using that in our house. So money saved is money earned. Look at here. Oh, this is a dirty, this looks like kitchen. Oh, and a mouse nest. Some wood, a mouse nest in there. And all kitchen stuff, yeah. Yep, all kitchen pans and stuff and mouse turds. This is the house of the mouse. All right, out here, check this out. Boom in the box 
Tiger saw by Porter Cable. That's an easy $50 bill. I've already got tools like that or I can do it myself. This says shoes. And it's shoes. Hey, look at there. Really nice feelers. I don't know much about cowboy boots. Those are pretty beat up, but they're, they are Justin. I know that's a good brand name. We got some Adidas's that look like they're in really good condition. What size was he? An 11. Oh, well, I know somebody's gonna want these. Looks like everything in there is about like that. And that's all that's in that box. Go to this box here. This looks like probably more homewares. Yeah, kitchen stuff, homewares, butter dishes. Yeah, nothing there. If there's anything in there hiding, we'll let you know later, but I seriously doubt it. Now this box is, I don't know if this isn't the heavy one, what's in here? Hey, Pet Rock. All right, Pet Rock could mean that he has collectibles. What is that? Oh, a magnetic level of some sort, that's cool. Oh, we got, I would say screws. I'm a little afraid to open it because I know it'll just go everywhere once I do. What we got in here, take a peek. Take a peek. It is, no, there's like all kinds of little doodads in there. All right, let's open this thing up. I wasn't gonna open it, but now it's forced my hand I must know what is in you. Got another piece of wood. Hey, Tootsie Bop. Oh, a little ram, some cigarette lighters. No, it doesn't look like nothing fancy in there. No treasure. No gold. Nope. No treasure, no gold. Okay, let's go in here. Looks like paper. Uh, great big book in the bottom. Oh, it's Bless you. Well, very. Ah. Ah. Awesome. Ah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Got a nice little clock. Doesn't look old. Kind of newer. Good garage sale, Josh Key. Um, something wrapped up in there. Let's check this out. Pet right. Rock. Rock. Now, my daughter might not remember or know, but Pet Rocks were really big back in like the 60s and 70s. Oh, look. There's your salt rock. Hey! It, say pet, it says pet rock. So he must have called his salt salty or something. I don't know. But it is a pet rock. We got this is wrapped. Up. Oh, guys, listen to that. What's that sound like? Silverware, maybe. Maybe this is the good silverware. Maybe this is the sterling silver silverware. For painters tape, this stuff is rough. I ain't playing with you painting tape. I gotta know what's in the towel. Please, please be sterling silver. That would be a good day. Or it's something that's really, really broken. <laughs> or it's just a bunch of miscellaneous just crap. <laughs> it's saw blades and, and hooks and, oh, yep, stuff like that. All right. <laughs> Not what we were looking for, but all right, we'll take it. All right, let's peek here. We got a, uh, Spray paint, polyurethane, trim screws. I'd almost say that's what this is. Of course, I don't know. We had a salt rock and a pet rock. Look at that sweat. It is hot today, guys. Hey, look, polyurethane paint and screws. But hey, screws are good. Everybody loves a good screw. Kitchen. What was in the kitchen? Tell me it was gold bars. Gold bars go in the kitchen. Um, safety glasses, a couple light bulbs, some kind of chew vitamins, some other little pills, and nothing worth our time in that box. All right, well, that sums that box up. Oh. What? Ah, uh, you're just pushing the box in my kitchen. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm getting a little shubby with the box, huh? All right, let's go this way. Let's see what we got here. Now we're getting into some looks like tools, possibly. There's caulking guns. More wrap towels. Is that? What is this one? Looks like a starfish. <laughs> Look, a dog. It's a poodle. It's a it's a towel balloon animal. Is that? I have no idea. But we're about to find out. This looks like a pressure regulator for an air compressor. Mm -hmm. Why do you put that in the towel? I don't know, but that's cool. Okay. Like nothing important in there. Let's 
sound like all vitamins, no money or nothing jiggling around in there. Gear keeper. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's what that does. All right. And some blocks of wood. All right, nothing too exciting in there. Moving down the road. Let's go to this box. Oh, this is the one that was for the Denon receiver. It is not a Denon receiver. I'm hoping the Denon receiver is in there somewhere. This looks like all paperwork, guys. Yep, just a little bit of paperwork and the styrofoam from where the Denon receiver used to be. I need that receiver. Now this tote, I do believe, is all tools. It is heavy, nice extension cord. We got DeWalt, screws and, oh, nuts and bolts and screws. Hey, there's nice countersink screws, those are nice. Nuts and bolts and screws, about the same thing. Oh, there we go, got some spade bits. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Miscellaneous tools. We've got different kinds of tools in here. Uh, pop rivet guns. I see a tie down strap, which you can never have too many of them. Get down here a little bit farther. We've got magnetic flashlights. I think that's what these are too. Yeah, magnetic lights. Any charge? Hey, they still work, look at that. Hey, how about that? Uh, some kind of a vise uh, that mounts. Um, lots of different screws, saws, paints, nails. I think this is just going to be all, yeah, L brackets and bolts and screws and things like that. A great big L bracket shelf. Some saw blades. All right, yep, all tools though. That's good stuff. <laughs> Please remember. $30 on this one. Yay! High five yourself. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Share this thing. Give us some comments. Tell us how we're doing. Tell us that you want to see more. All right, well, that's all that we got out right now. We're going to rearrange the car, try and cram some of this in it, and then dig some more of that out. Take a look. There's still plenty to go. That cleaned up and thrown in the car. Let's come on back in here and we'll see where we're at. So I'm going to start digging some stuff out. We'll pull it out. We'll open it up and go through it out there. I just wanted you to come in and see what was left in here. So I will start pulling boxes out. Back up a little bit, babe. Come on. I'm gonna pull a bunch of stuff out and we'll take a look at it. Hopefully there's good stuff in some of these boxes and bags. And hopefully he filled his cooler full of stuff because there's a bunch of them. And this guy was definitely a woodworker of some sort. There's a great big thing in here. The only thing we can think of is some kind of a wood jig. Huh. That said lockbox. Got a little bit excited, but it feels like all blankets probably. It's really light. Microwave. That one's self-explanatory. Take a better look in a minute. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 what do you say? Check this out, guys. I knew he was a woodworker. Right there, radial arm saw. Craftsman radial arm saw. Empty. Well, this one's got some weight to it. Is it what it says or is it something else? It sounds like glass. So I don't think it's a compressor. box. It's really heavy though for a toolbox. 
really heavy for a toolbox. That's paint, that's why it's heavy. Or not. This feels very empty. Big box. The box is tire foam. I wonder if I can. Never mind. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get this thing here out. We got a bunch of wood. Okay, come on in. I'm going to show you something. All of these pieces of wood are numbered, they're strapped together, and I'm sure they go on whatever this thing is behind me. It's some kind, <laughs> I don't know what kind, of a woodworking thing. Whatever this is, is something that he made to build something. All those boards correspond and fit in here somehow. And I have no, yeah, see, look up here, up here. There's clamps right there, wood clamps. So this guy was definitely a woodworker. Now I'm gonna try, I don't know if I can get it out, to get this great big bench out because there's some interesting things in the back there. There's just stuff, kind of stuck everywhere. There's a lamp. Still haven't found that den and receiver. Here, going out, babe. see if I can scoot that out to get the rest out so we can go through it all at once. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back in the locker. We got almost everything out. As you can see, there's a bar stool, a little table, another little table, the mat and the mattresses. Well, I've looked behind them. There's nothing behind the mattresses. But we have something that's locked. So let's see what we got. I wanted to bring you in here for this one. Oh, it's not heavy. Is it locked? No, oh, it's just a file cabinet. Okay. It was nothing I thought I'd bring you in just in case that's where it was all at. That could have been it. And then here we've got a uh, picture of the solar system. Like some kind of missing like Monet or something like that. Gun rag, which had me excited. It goes up in here. And part of the mirror that goes to that dresser. Other than that, guys, I think that is it. I hate to tear this thing apart, but tomorrow I'll probably be tearing it apart because the wood's worth more to me than whatever it was that he was building on it, so I don't know. But let's go out here and see what we got. The last few boxes, and we're gonna load and go for today. Okay, as you can see, we got some nice wood clamps, a little like a little heater, space heater. We've got the uh, radial arm saw, which is really nice. This box seems to be nothing but styrofoam. Why? Where's my phone? We'll check that here in a minute. This is the one that says lock box, and it's just towels. Do we have anything hidden in our coolers? Oh, we have Febreze and Cascade. All right, nothing in there, yay. Now let's go to this box here. Uh-oh, ooh, guys, ooh, guys, it is locked. Please don't be more pedophilia. I think that's, it feels heavy and like a pew pew. All right, we're gonna come back to that and check that in just a minute. Oh, keep your fingers crossed. You know I like those. Oh, we got, yeah, you want? These always fool you, but this is really heavy. This might actually be what's in it. Oh, that's got me excited. That got me excited. I think this one might actually be in there. This is brand new though. That is, oh, look there. Looks brand new, doesn't it? All right, so that was in there. You never get that. Let's go over two. Is the phone in there? The tablet is alive. The phone I don't believe is in there. Nope, no phone. What is this? This is something. It's a bag inside of a bag. Inside of a bag. A couple little connectors for wires. That's a computer charger here. We got a hot glue gun. A little speaker. And this. Okay, well, we got some tools around here, so we'll get some tools here in a minute, see if we can't pop that lock off. This bag, what is this bag here? Looks like a cooler. Ah, looks like tools, maybe. It wasn't stupid heavy, but it had some weight to it. Hey, look, there. there's the compressor. So 
it goes to that box that I picked up. Alright, here we go. Banks nail gun. That's nice. Little uh, crown molding stapler. And a little miscellaneous nuts and bolts. Alright, happy with that box. And this box here looks like hardware and some wood blocks and a power strip. Alright, let's go over here. This box looks like wire and an air hose to go with the compressor to go with the box. Yay! Um, nothing down in there. <laughs> it's a it's a cooler inside a cooler with coolies. It's coolies inside of a cooler. Inside of a cooler. But hey guys, that's 25 bucks right there all day. Here's the air compressor box. So we do have the box. Hey, I did not expect that. <laughs> It's a cheap one, but I did not expect that. What the hell is this? A cigarette making machine. I know somebody who will like this. I guess you put the tobacco in there, put your tube on there, give it a crank, pow, you have a cigarette. That's one of the nice ones. I have a friend that's going to like this locker. And then that looks like just some miscellaneous junk. Did not require that much styrofoam. All right, so that's all that's in that box. What other boxes we got? Well, okay, we got the clothes. Looks like he wore a lot of Izod's and polos. Put those in a big lot. He went to Purdue. I may steal what, some of those. Here's what we got to see here. There's some nice, actually some pretty nice belts in there. That's just a little mirror and a crock pot. All right, and that's what we see. Now, this one was really heavy. This is way heavier than any fishing tackle box I've opened it is fishing tackle but maybe it's not all fishing tackle let's see let's see what we got down here how's this open really well oh it's all the weights it's full of lead weights Check on something down here we got more lures more lead weights hey there you go bunch of fishing lures in there I know some fishing lures can be some pretty good money so, well, that's probably a $50, $60 box minimum. All right, so that's not so bad. Looking a little bit better. I'm not sure you missed anything cool. Kind of hoping it was ammo. I'm not going to lie. That's what I was hoping for. Now we got to find something to... Was that everything? We went, did we get this box? We did, didn't we? Yeah. So all we got is this right here. So, uh... Give me a minute, I'm gonna find something to break this open and we'll go from there. Okay guys, all these tools in this unit, no hammer. So we're gonna do our best here, see if this will just pop it off, which I don't know if we can get it, and it twists, so. I hate to destroy the box, but it's loose. Here we go, moment of truth. CDs, are you serious? Who locks up their CDs? They might be some special CDs. A wink wink. Is that a porn CD there? Let me see if I can get back. Yeah, that might be a porn CD. Nudes. Yeah, guys, that's all. Might want to blur that. That's video. why that was locked. Womp, womp, womp. Not what we were hoping for. Not a pew pew. I can never get anything good in a safe, and apparently I can't get anything good in these little lock boxes either. I'd rather have been but, paraphernalia. I, I would have rather have been just about anything than that, but it is what it is, and that would have to be a wrap. But please give us a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, and you'll get notifications whenever we have a new video coming out. And you get to watch us uh, win and lose sometimes. But until next time, you guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you real soon.